<laughs> All right. Oh, we're going to get busy. Do we have, because I got a lot of notes to go over with you guys. Um, you work at a bank out Do we have, uh, Critter Cat, are you on? You have no volume? Oh, well, then we can't have you be Critter Cat, or we can't have you be Catetary. I know. I know. Our volume is on and working. Okay, Skeetikins will be Catetary. Okay, cool. Oh no. It's very quiet. Okay, so sound is okay though, right? Yeah, Critter Cat. We that's what I had said and then when I saw you didn't have sound, um um I think somebody else nabbed it. But Critter Cat has offered uh, so maybe tomorrow night, Critter Cat, you could try, okay? That would be cool. I sent you an email on it. Thank you for offering. <laughs> Octavia stole the volume. Well, we do have a thief here, and it's not Octavia this time, and we have a police report written out about it. I understand Putter's involved, and I'm going to read that note that I got. It's just very disturbing. So... <laughs> Uh oh, my mom. Okay, I turned it up just a tad. We're kind of compromising. So that is good there. We're A-OK. -okay. All right, let's roll. We've got one, two, three, four, five boxes. I got stuff to show you. Two envelopes and notes. So, and we got our category, right? Yeah, we have Sheriff News, man. We're serious now. Somebody better call Jody, my volunteer Jody, and tell her she better get on because we got to talk to her. Okay, this one is from Amazon, and I'm, somebody give me five bucks if I think I know what it is and I'm correct. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, good, because I was wrong. <laughs> um, let me see if there's a note on this one. Um, oh, fooey dooey. Oh. I don't have a note on this one. Um, but, well, let's see if what's in it is really what's in it. Uh, you know, they could be fooling us. It is. Oh, my gosh. This is awesome. It's the Purell Advanced Hand Sanitizer. Kills, kills the most germs. There's 12 of them in here. I don't have a name from who it is. Somebody got it? Um, you know what? There's not a person... Well, rarely does anybody get in through the door without using hand sanitizers. We have the big ones. We have small ones. We've got them all around. And people are using them. It, it, most of the time, we don't even have to say, oh, please stop. Will you wash your hands first? So we, we do use this stuff a lot. Thank you. But do we know who it's from? No. It says on the top of the box, it just says, <sighs> well, it says from... But it looks like it's G A L O I something D Inc. So I don't think that's a person. I think that's something else. Nothing else. So maybe somebody will will um, help us with that. This one is also from Amazon. And there's no name on the front. Remember, I have to always watch now. Can I check that while you're down there? No, no name on the front of that one. Maybe there's a, a card in here for both packages. No. Oh, time to change blades tonight. What are you doing? Uh, uh oh, I'm striking out. Two for two. <laughs> this is friskies and it's the beef and poultry sliced. 
they slight you know there's so many varieties of cuts and of course that's very important we don't get very many of the slice so they will like this slice is good too thank you I'm, I sure wish I knew who to thank but whoever did send it I appreciate it we we use a lot of this so maybe maybe if you're on there and you said that just pop it on there so our cateteries can jot it down so that um Oh, I sent the Purell. Bantry, you did? Thank you. Bantry, cool. Okay, we got an order for that. Bantry, thank you, thank you. That's the most important item here. Very good item. Do we have a claimer on the Fancy Feast yet? Oh, <laughs> check this out. This went through Defiance Post Office because it says, Hi, we know who did that, don't we? <laughs> That's from um, Jim. She always, she always personalizes it for me. Nikki, you all right? You all right, Dippy? Dippy says yes. Don't make a fuss over me. Hey, are you all right there? Huh? You okay there, little girl? This one here is from a YGM group. YGM from Kansas. That sounds kind of interesting. YGM, you. You good mob of cats. Maybe that's what it means. I think I need to go to bed or something. Ooh, what is this? What? Uh oh. What is this, Fifi? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a black and white kitty. It's a Zelda. Oh, it's so cute. It's, it's a girl. <laughs> it's um, Aurora. Aurora. Isn't that cute? I don't know who it's from. Gift of Smiles. Isn't that cute? It's a little girl kitty. Aw, do we know who sent this? <laughs> Pam likes black and white kitties also. Yeah, it's a <laughs> one similar to that. Yeah. It's a Zelda. Isn't that cute? You know what? I'm gonna I'll have to I'll have to play a joke on on one of the uh Oh it could be a traveling Patty's girlfriend. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll have to uh I like to play jokes on the volunteers sometimes and um uh <laughs> I get myself in trouble sometimes with that and uh because they pay me back. I'll have to figure something out with this. Oh, we got a hurt kitty and pin too. Can you go get it for me so I can draw some blood from it? And they'll come back and be wanting to hit me or something. But I'm going to do that. So do we know who sent that cute? Oh, Andy Fee sent it. Thank you, Andy Fee. Thank you. That's so nice. Is that for for um, Fifi? Fifi. Here's your baby, Andy Fee. Mm, you are such an ordinary girl. She's been she's been goofy today, haven't you? Look, that's what your mama said. Thank you, Auntie Fee. But I am going to have some fun with that. <laughs> okay, we've got another box here, and this one came from Amazon, and this one is from Quayside. It's got it on the outside of it. I love it. <laughs> From Quayside. That would be Willis and Elaine. Here. I just wanted to be careful I don't hit you. There. Now we're okay. Oh, another case of this. This, this, the cats love this. I tried some of these today with the cats. It's that Fancy Feast Delights with Cheddar. If you haven't tried this for your kitties, you got to try it. Because they love it. Have you ever tried this one, Pam? The delights with cheddar? Uh uh. It'll make your mouth water if you're a kitty. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Quayside. Appreciate that very, very much. It's kind of fun to give the kitty some of that extra special food that we know that they like so well. Thank you so much. And this one. You know, last night after we got done with boxes, I went out there in the office and there was 
so three of these boxes were out there. I didn't even know it until after we were all done. This was one of them. This is from Darrell G. from Wisconsin. Darrell G. And for our cateteri, it's D-A-R-Y-L. Nice big label on it. Whoops, it's easy. <laughs> Definitely got to put a new blade in there tonight. Oh my goodness gracious. It says, hi there all in kitty land. Hi Jackie and all the volunteers. Just dropping off my picnic basket for the kitties. Just happened to see these in the store. Not sure if the kitties are going to eat them or not, but I hope Twinkles likes the chicken. I just saw her a little bit ago. So I just picked up a small handful. Hope they enjoy them. P.S. Also enjoy watching the morning breakfast show with Jackie and her performing kitties. <laughs> Best wishes and keep up the good work. You're all doing a good job. Sincerely, Cat, a Catarama. Catarama, I think it is pronounced. C, for our cateteri, it's C-A-T-O-H-R-A-M-A. -A -A. Catarama. Thank you. And we have a card, a kitty card. Oh. Okay, kitty. A bunch of, bunch of chubby kitties. Those are chubbier kitties than ours. And it says, come on, does it really matter what it says in here? Besides, kitties can't read yet. Lots of laugh. Just some kitty humor. Thank you. I'll put this one up on our wall, too. Surprising how many of our visitors like to read all the cards. Well, let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. Oh my golly. Wow. Looks like we got. Oh. <laughs> we got. I just saw something in there. We got those balls. They love these and we like them because they don't get sucked up in the shop back. And these are nice too. The kitties like their tails. The tails will be off, which is what they like to do. Cool toys. There's Twinks. Those are those are fun toys. And <laughs> look at this. This box. Is, we're going to have sardines every day for like three weeks here. Two weeks maybe. There is. Um, these are all sardines. And they're in the oil. Water and oil is, is good. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 cans of sardines. So we got enough for 25 breakfasts. Thank you. Oh, you can go on in. And for Twinkles, there's a Clear Value Chunk White Chicken. This is the kind that Twinkles like. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of these cans. Thank you. This is really, really nice. It's, you know, some of the volunteers, um, the one last week had made some for her. And um, it's nice, but, you know, we run out of it after a while. So it's nice just to be able to open up a can for Twinkles. And look at this. <laughs> it's one of those cool cat, cat, um, or cat, cat openers, can openers. <laughs> The cat opener. <laughs> it's a cordless and portable. Some, you know, I've had people over the years ask me, well, can you use a can opener, electric one that's on the counter? And, you know, it's always so nice to be offered that, but I always say, you know, we don't have enough space on the counter. And um, this, this kind won't take up any space. And the other day, I thought I was going to throw that can opener through the wall. It was so frustrating. It's just, and that's a good old one, but it's clogged up. Uh, okay. When all else fails, cut. Oh boy. Yeah. See this. Oh, this is nice. This won't take up any space. What did that say? Cordless. Oh man, look, wow, that looks like a space. 
Can I open it? Yeah. 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 Okay, now I gotta I gotta figure out how to use it. All right, we'll have it working for tomorrow morning. I better get the mobile. There it is. is. Auntie on. So, Kat Katarama, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you so very much. I don't. I, uh, I don't think she's on, but gosh, thank you so very much. I appreciate that. This is a another great box, a picnic box. So. <laughs> All okay. Did you see this, Judy? Look at all this. Oh, I got Fifi oh, for her. Twinkle. I know. I'm going to keep these two out for tomorrow morning's breakfast. Oh, Fifi. Sure. Yeah. Uh, where is it? There's room over there. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Um, and I have some things to show you guys. Um, oh, and I do have two envelopes, but I just wanted to thank these people. These are for birthday cards for my mom. Oh, this one's from from Cat Cruiser, Florida, for my mom. Yeah, <clears throat> this one is from Japan. Mayumi, I always mispronounce these. I'm sure Mayumi Takeda, and I believe we've heard from her before, and that's for my mom too, from from Japan. Isn't that cool? So I will make sure she gets that. Her birthday is next week. And the other cool thing about her birthday is that's the day my sister's coming home for a very, very big uh, um, interview at a um, big hospital over in Indiana. These, we got them today. These are our new business cards. I hope that shows up good. Jenny's been working on these for us, and they came in. Aren't they nice? Very, very nice, and we're using our le our logo from B. Now they're really nice. She did a good job on them. Yeah, here, we'll pass them around to you guys. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, Skeetikins. Uh, just to make it easy for me, just pop your address on my email again. That way, I don't have to uh, backtrack and look it up. Okay. You have a collection of over 15,000 business cards. Oh, my goodness. Um, well, B did the logo. B does the logo. And, you know, on our website, the really cool um, decorations, like for the particular months, you know, we had a really neat logo um, that was centered around the Christmas theme. And then this this month, or this month then is uh, J or Valentine's. And for March, she's already designed one. It's uh, St. Patrick's Day. You guys are going to love that one. That one's a really cool one, too. But V does all that. So um, now we've got some other things here. First off, you guys all read about that Reader's Choice? I didn't know about that till last night. And I just I got an email, but they said to wait till today to start talking about it. And... So what I wrote on the blog was big news. Just got an email from Reader's Choice that FFRC has been selected as one of six that is up for votes for the final ball ballot of best nonprofit cats only organizations. We came in three out of the six top organizations. Now it's time to go public and vote for us, hopefully to come in first place. And if somebody could pop that website up there for me, I'd appreciate it. It's too long for me to um, just to read off. Winners will be announced on March 30th, and I believe we can vote every day. I, that's how I understood it, that we could vote every day. And voting continues until March 21st. And, oh, it does say, and can vote daily. Winners, now this is something kind of neat, though. Winners don't receive a prize, just the bragging rights that come with knowing that the readers of one of the web's largest networks love the work that we are doing for the cats. So, um, can you, can, we, we, we started out really strong this morning. At first we were 100% of all the votes, 
<clears throat> and then one of the other organizations got one, so we dropped down to like 98% or something like that. And it's been flipping all around all day today because now everybody's kind of getting in on it. But um, it'd be kind of fun to do. It doesn't cost us anything to vote. And um, it'd be kind of fun to see if, if we could do that in first place there. But, you know, and the thing is, I don't know how we got even nominated for that. All I know is I got the email last night saying we were number three in the top six organizations. So pretty cool. I was excited just for that. That was pretty awesome. Okay, we got to do Cutter next. Cutter was extremely upset today. I got an email message and I don't see her on right now, but her cam name is Sita. And Sita got a phone call herself from this boy today, from Cutter. So she says, Dear Jackie, I got a phone call from Putter this morning. And Putter says, Hi, Putter here. First I thought I should call Judy S., but it's better to call an outsider. And then Sita says, Nice, what can I do for you? Putter says, We have a problem. The clock is stolen. The clock that was up there. I asked Octavia, but she was angry that I thought that it was her. Ask Bella, she knows. Bella told me, oh, yes, it was Jody. I was shocked. Who is the boss here on the floor? I am. And, of course, Jackie is the super boss. And Sita says, I saw it, too. Putter says, I am glad that you saw it, too. Well, I'll call later this day the police and instruct them to go to the house of Jody to search for the stolen clock. Maybe can you mail it to Jackie? Because I don't know how to do it. I am totally confused. Oh, what a day again. Thank you very much for your help. And then Sita says, okay, be calm, Putter. I will mail Jackie. <laughs> so this clock, <laughs> just like that, <laughs> was stolen today. We, we, We've worked and we're trying to find a clock for all you webcam viewers to to uh, be able to tell when it's 6.30 our time here for boxes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I wish you guys could all come here. We always have so much fun. And um, apparently Jody took it off the wall. And Putter, Putter was very upset about this. He says, I like all my viewers to come on there. But you, you almost called jo Judy S. too, huh, honey? Oh, isn't he magnificent? So, Sita, thank you for letting me know that there was a major, major big problem. I saw it was down, and I didn't know what the heck happened to it. And then I found it in pin one where we put all the things for the volunteers. Um, Judy, did you know that? You, you were involved in this. Cutter was going to call you that the clock was stolen, but then he thought he should call an outsider. <laughs> Um, so I just, this was another email I had gotten from Critter Cat. So sometimes Critter Cat would like to try to be catatarial. So it's really nice to have so many people offer. It really is nice. Um, so here, here's something else that happened today. And Jody, of course, was involved again. <laughs> this is surprising. Um, this is from, um, that's her cam name. Oh, her cam name is Sun Jamak. Sun, S-O-N-J-A-M-A-K. M-A-C. M-A-C. She says, hey, Jackie, thought you might want to know we had a tail off. A tail off. And Jody measured um, Beaz's tail to find it was 10.5 inches. So we then asked her to check Jenkins, and he is still the champ at 11 and a half inches. Someone said they shouldn't go to homes with rocking chairs. I thought that was pretty cute. So I didn't know this happened either. I was in the dark. I only was going a couple hours with my mom. Oh, for our, sec for our category, could you also put on there um, a Carol B. She's a local person. Stopped by today, and she donated canned dog food and, and laundry soap and ink cartridges and we recycle those ink cartridges and we get money for that um what is this oh made in heaven had a very good idea today um 
um, Maiden Heaven emailed me this, but uh, I think Lady Daka is actually the one who had suggested it. That if you know how we have trouble getting all the names to thank people, that maybe it might, an easier way to ensure that your name is attached to any box is to send to FFRC care of your name, the sender's name, so I know who sent it. Others suggest putting Chatter's name in the second address line so that so many order forms have. So I think that's a good idea. So maybe send it to FFRC care of your name and or to put the chatter's name in the second address line so that the order forms will have it on. So maybe we can try that so that um, we for sure have the names of the people who have donated. Because I, I do like to thank people. That's partly what the blog is about. Pam, yeah, thank you. Um, also, tomorrow is our big day for Bayaz and um, Dickens. They're both going up for their neuter job. They're going to be tic tac -less tomorrow, mid-morning. And then uh, Martha L. is going to be here in the morning, and she's going to um, take them up for me. And we also have another cat whose name I think I told you last night is Angel Kisses. And <clears throat> she's got uh, major pelvis fractures. And she needs to have a better x-ray than the one that was sent to us so that we can really see what is going on in there. So she's going to go up for an x-ray and then they'll call me and let me know what, what um, we need to do for that. And I'll go get her in just a minute and tell you about, about her or show her to you. Uh, Duncan and Georgia, talk to the mama that adopted them. And Georgia is doing much, much better. Dunnikin is not doing very good, and I want him to come back. They want, she wants him to come back because she feels very sorry for Dunnikin. Her house is gigantic. She's got it corralled down to three rooms: the kitchen, dining room, be nice, kitchen, dining room, and the uh, hall. <laughs> I can't concentrate and the uh, living room, but those are big rooms. But she's got the rest of the house shut off, and she knows for sure that he's in one of those three rooms. So she's trying today. She's going to try again tomorrow morning. She knows for sure he's coming out to potty and to eat, so that made me feel better. But my heart is broke. I just It, it hurts me to think that he's so sad. So she's going to call tomorrow morning, and if if she can't find him, I told her, I said, I will come to your house. I will come there and help you find him. I know if I get there, and I, I won't leave without him. I will hunt and hunt and hunt until we find him. So this is only the second time I've ever had this happen in all these years that we've adopted out. <clears throat> only the second time where I would have had to go to a house to find the cat. It just breaks my heart. She has been trying all kinds of things. She feels as bad or almost as bad as what I do about it. I think if I go there that that I can get him, get him out. I just think he's scared to pieces. So that's top of my list also tomorrow. Yeah. Well, you know, I do have that other home that's interested in him. And it's a small house. It's an older couple. They had called, I think I told you guys, they had called like the day after he was adopted. And um, if they are still interested in him after we get him back and settle everything down again, then uh, to do that adoption, I'm going to take him to their house to make sure that everything is okay. So we'll see how it goes. Um, let me go get Angel Kisses, and I'll show you her. Do you want to get her? Okay, okay. Well, while Judy's getting her, uh, is there any questions that you had? Judy loves her. Georgia is probably going to stay there. Sure, kitties can, can have anxieties. You betcha. We see it a lot. <laughs> yeah, when I was playing, you know, those different cat sounds, um, the cats, we had five of them over here. That, that Some of that, that wow, you know, they don't like. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Ayla. I have not heard. I heard recently from Ayla, um, but you know, as far as I know, everything is hunky dory there. 
Uh, Angel Kitty, we have to be careful with how we hold her. Her, her pelvis is sore, but we know how to hold. Um, yeah, bring and say kitty kitty. Oh, well, she lives just right in the next county. So I, I mean, I want to go over there and bring them home. <clears throat> raw, raw food diets, you know, we've all talked about that so many times for so long. But the one thing that you have to do is make sure it is 100% um, nutritionally sound for your cat. There's a lot of times that those aren't, if there's so many diets out there, you have to be really careful that it comes from a reliable source. Here she is. You want to bring her on over? Yeah. yeah. She did. She did. She did it. She, she, she did. In it. Was it a good cookie? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Well, we're trying to keep her poopy. If I can talk about poop, just not too hard and not too soft, just right, so that it can kind of glide through that fractured pelvis pretty easily but she pottied in the litter box see so that tells a lot right there I, yeah this one's pretty bad though you know sometimes when they have those fractures and they're really severe like hers you worry about um, the neurological damage there and there's a couple things that we can check for uh, tone um, because you know the bottom line is they have to be able to know when they have to potty otherwise it just is a mess on the cats and they don't like that but fortunately for her she does know when she has to go potty so that's a really good sign yes pooping is very very important hit my car yes isn't she a doll i'm going to scoot you over zelda belda it's okay angel kisses you want to get there a little bit closer there we go she's on two kinds of pain meds and she's also on a very good anti-inflammatory she didn't have that, unfortunately. Um, the problem, you know, with these kind of injuries, you want to get the anti-inflammatory started ASAP to get the maximum results from them. And unfortunately, we didn't get to get her until, I think it's day five of her injury. So, um, kind of disappointed about that. She got hit and then ran off. Everybody in that area knew about it. But nobody actually went out to catch her until a friend of mine that uh, lives in that area heard about her. And she went, and by golly, she wasn't going to give up until she got her, which she did. Oh, was that a little burp? Yeah. So she's a torty tiger. She's going to have a big day tomorrow. Big, big day. Yeah, she's a good girl. She she lays down on on her side. Uh, she can put a little weight on. So you know which one is it? Her left leg is it? But both of the one leg, one rear leg is very very atrophied already, very little use, and the other leg is maybe fifty percent of that one better. But it's also very atrophied, so you can tell that she hasn't been. She's kind of been laying most of this this whole week. Um. I don't know. One leg looks pretty bad. The femoral head, I think, on the one leg is um, broke. Uh, at least the no, that not necessarily an amputation. Um, sometimes they can form a new head on there in the pelvis area. So I'm very anxious to see. The X-rays they sent us were practically black, so they're almost impossible to really read. This happened. Um, I think it's like six days ago because the vet didn't because um, she was not really I don't know no nope, I don't know I hate to say hate to say what I guess but you know they what they weren't sure of financials finances that anyone was going to really pay it so I think they kind of and as it was they paid quite a bit anyhow just for the care that they did do the x-ray and a stool sample and good okay she must have been trying to get off this off of her, her leg Aww. So we got her pants. she's looking at you she says i love judy s already <coughs> yeah she'll purr. Uh, uh huh yeah she'll purr Okay, well, we'll know tomorrow as soon as we know. As soon as we know the two boys are out of surgery and we know the results of her 
x-rays um i can't wait to see the x-rays so we can all we'll figure out what's what we're gonna do okay you want to go back to mama judy mm. oh she's she's purring way down here i can feel her on my yeah. fingers all right the eyes are so pretty yeah over you go she's she's got dry food in there we she's had like two tablespoons of can this afternoon but that's all we'll give her we won't give her any more can like this much maybe. Will you want to check and see how much is in there? Yeah. Take the drop. Okay, I think unless you all have any questions, I think I'm kind of done. Oh, I think they put her down at four months, I believe I put her down. Oh, that's Bayaz, the goofy boy. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. Um, Bayaz has 99% chance has a home already. Nuki and Noogies. Actually, it's been a little while, but the last I heard, they were doing fine. Um, still very shy, but in a uh, like a studio type apartment with that lady that helped them so much, and <clears throat> and uh, that they were doing fine. They will stay with her forever. No more seizures for Vera. Bayaz, okay, you guys, some of you viewers may know these people. They were in last week, and do you remember um, Ping and Pong and Wiley, the three um, Chinese kind of flame point cats? They're the ones who was here this week, and they're very, very interested in Bayaz. They called today. Yeah, he, <laughs> I told him he's kind of crazy. <laughs> He's a nut. Tasco? You mean, have I heard more about Tasco? I haven't. You know, usually the people will call me um, maybe once, sometimes twice, and then I don't usually hear from them unless there's a problem. Yeah, that home there where Bayos would go would be, that kitty would be <laughs> spoiled to pieces. He probably won't even ever need to use his feet. The patties, one's patties over there on the flower underneath um, Twinks. Baby gas medicine. <laughs> yeah. All right. So anything else? Cool. Oh, Lini, did you have a question? I hold Badu. She's in my lap a lot. Almost every time I'm on my computer, she is in my lap. She even got in my lap the other day. She gets in okay. my lap. She'll stop. I'll be sitting. And she'll Do sit bunnies down get down? And she'll look at me. And she'll give me a meow. I'll go, come on, Badu. And she'll jump up there and oh, really? turn around and lay down. The uh, cat dancer toy, isn't that over there? Yeah, yeah the wires are there. They kind of, whoops, that mousy thing got oh. stuck behind there. Let me go back and see where I missed that. Um, looking at the world heard down. anything about Plymouth? Not not for a little while, other than that they love him to pieces. Yeah, Lini, did you get your question in? Lini. Oh, well, maybe usually, Lini, it's the canned food that will do that. Maybe you can switch brands or cut back a little bit and see see if that helps any bit or a little bit. Sometimes that's just a my vet always teases me sometimes. Sometimes it's just a kitty thing they tell me. Um, but if there's no diarrhea or real soft soft stool, usually that will go away. Now well my my Z's in the house, I can't stand it when they potty. Holy moly, I gotta leave the room. It's really bad. Um but maybe cut back a little bit on the canned food, Lini, and see if that will help a little bit. <laughs> Don't light a match. <laughs> I love Badu. <laughs> you know, she bit somebody again yesterday. <laughs> then she then she looks so loving, like, oh, yeah, I meant to do that. Sure I did. Picasso's fam Picasso is well-loved. Um, 
I'm just really happy with these homes. I'm, well, I'm so careful anyhow. Farrah's got to have her meds yet. The lost kitty, I haven't got him yet, but they've got him down, Duncan, into one of three rooms now. So uh, hopefully she'll tell me it's okay to go ahead and come over tomorrow if she doesn't have him in the morning. The black kitty with Bayaz. Mm, I'm not sure what you mean, Leggy. Bayaz was playing with um, uh, Jacob today, big time. Yeah, sometimes it's just a particular kind of food for that particular kind, or for, for that particular cat. <laughs> Lini, you know, if you cut back on their food, on their dry food a little bit, and maybe experiment a little bit, and you know, these cats have been warm, but there's a lot of weird old parasites out there. Every once in a while, we'll find a kitty that has had something that kind of flew by us. You know, so if worse gets to worse, maybe take in a stool sample also. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Bets. Yeah, no sardines. <laughs> yeah, sometimes just switching brands is all that, that matters. Yeah, but it's still important for kitties to have canned food, especially boy kitties, because their little urethras, you know, are quite a bit smaller than girls. And it keep there it's mostly water, so it keeps the little crystals that sometimes cats form, keeps those crystals moving through and not get clogged. Because if a male cat gets clogged, if you if it's not treated, it, that they will die. Yeah, if they get clogged and don't get unclogged. The lost girl. Oh, are you talking the one that went back to the family? That kitty is doing fine. I think that's who you guys mean. Um, the, oh, oh, no, no, no. I know who you mean now. No, we never found that kitty. You're talking the little black kitty that came with Dickens. Nope, never. I have not seen it. Neither have the guys out on the farm. I know. I hope it's out there. I really hope it's out there somewhere. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest kitty? Where's my patty? On. Rosa, isn't that a nice kitty? Where's my patty? Your patty? No. Not that one. Which one? Not the other one. I don't know. The one in the box. Oh, yeah. Does anybody know where patty is? The traveling patty is? This is the new kitty. <laughs> I'm going to play like a joke on the volunteers tomorrow. It looks like my Snoopy. You know what I should do is put this in the carrier going up to the vet's office tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to have fun with them, too. Okay, I'm so far behind on this chat. I'm sorry. I know I probably miss, miss things. You're kind of funny. Yeah. I don't know what that litter contest is. Uh, um, I heard somebody else mention that. Uh, you can tell very easily when a cat is um, plugged. Uh, they are in and out of the litter box, in and out. They're preoccupied. You can tell there's something wrong. They are licking themselves. They might be just peeing little M&M size. Sometimes they throw up. It is a, when, when a cat um, has little crystals that keep plugging up that little urethra and then it finally plugs all the way, they cannot pee and it they will die if, if they don't get that unplugged. It usually requires being catheterized for a few days and changing diets, but usually they're very preoccupied. They're staying right there by the litter box. They may have a little bloody urine, but in and out, in and out, licking themselves, little M&M size. Did you get it? <laughs> Did you 
Yeah. Uh, Paul was helping um, Jimmy out trying to get his um, truck started. Oh, here we go. Patty left Texas and went to Arkansas. Oh, cool. Yeah, isn't this just the nicest kitty? Purring up a storm here. She only thinks she can get the furs and stuff once. <laughs> If we can win two thousand twelve pounds of litter, we got a. You have to be a five hundred one c three to do that, though. What is all these things? Let's promise doing all that. Let's promise doing all that. promise playing with the banana. Oh. <laughs> do they? Yes, it does hurt. Well, it hurts because they can't pee, and then that bladder gets big, and they it's full. It's pressure they can go into kidney failure and when they start throwing up it's bad news got to catch it early early they have the best results stuff toy for that is oh look at those beautiful eyes is that the refrigerator kitty okay um, Bayaz came from a trailer court. He was just found in a trailer court. You know, people just dump them off there. Yeah, there's there's some better foods out there now for um for these. You know, the girl cats usually get the urinary tract infections. Boys usually are the unfortunate ones that get the plug. That's why canned food is important because it's mostly water and it helps keep no, those crystals um, flushing out. Snoozles? Okay, I'm going to clean up and I'll look around here. Where is Snoozles? Hi, boy, boy, boy. <coughs> Check this kitty out. Sure, but... What are you doing, huh?